welcome back to another video. So let's discuss about automatically creating expenses from an email. Instead of individually creating each expenses in the expense app, expenses can be automatically created by sending an email to an email alias. This can be used for the employees who do not have access to the expense module. So in order to set up this first, we need to configure the email alias. For that, you can just dive into the settings of Odoo platform and you can search for custom email. So as you search for custom email here, you have to set the alias domain and you have to choose incoming email server. And here I have already configured a email server and you would be able to see the name of the email and the type you have to choose is IMAP server and under the server and login, you have to give certain information such as the server name that is imap.gmail.com and as you choose the SSL, TSL, the port number will be automatically configured and you have to create a new record which is based on expense report. And after that, you have to set the username. So to this mail, we might be receiving emails from the employees and you also need to set a encrypted password. So this password can be set from the email that you are using over here, which is the username. So when you search uh, in the Gmail of the user, you would be able to see you can manage the password from there. Now let's go to the expense module. And you also need to ensure that under the settings, you have to search for incoming expense, I mean uh, incoming mails and here we have to set the email. That is, then only we can create expenses from the incoming mail. So we, here we have given the email, that is the username that we have configured in the incoming mail. And you also need to ensure that the mail that we are receiving is from an authenticated employee. So when you go to the employee, you have to give the valid uh, employee and uh, the mail uh, so if that mail exists in this employee list then only the expense report will be generated so you have to give accordingly so here let me uh, create a new employee or you can choose the existing employee or just change uh, the gmail so let me choose one of the employee and yeah let me change uh, the email after that, you can just save this employee. So you have uh, created an authenticated employee. After that, you need to configure a product. So we have to show uh, the expense uh, that we have been going through. So let's go to the sales module and we need to configure a product. So here I'm choosing the product as hotel management and here you have to set the product type as service and we might be uh, creating the expenses or invoices that is based on the delivered quantity. And you can choose the uh, re-invoice expense uh, that based on at cost or sales price and you can also set the unit of measurement and you need to set the sales price as well as cost. And it is important to note that you have to give the internal reference for the product that you are giving, which is mandatory because the expense will be generating upon the internal reference. So here I have given the internal reference uh, of the product that is hotel accommodation. Now let's see how can we manage or create an expense through email. Now what you have to do is while you're creating an email, you have to give the prefix as the internal reference of the product in the subject field, as well as you have to also give the price in the subject field. So let's see how can we do that. Yeah, now let's see how can we automatically generate an expense report from email alias. For that, you have to give the user name that we have given in the Odoo platform, which is samblodo4 at gmail.com. And here, in subject, you have to give the prefix of the product that we are using in order to expense. So let me give the internal reference as the prefix. And here, you also need to set the price of the product. 
and you can attach the file or report of the expense. Yes, that's it. Now you can just send this so that the alias would be receiving a mail. Here you can see the mail that we have configured in the incoming mail server has received an email that is email alias and you would be able to see the subject as well as the uh, the body that we have given the report that we have attached now let's go back to the Odoo platform and go to settings in order to fetch the mail and you can search for custom email and go to the incoming mail server and we need to fetch the mail that we have received in order to create an expense report so once you click on fetch now an expense report will be automatically created in the expense module so let's dive into the expense module to see the magic now remove the filtration and you would be able to see an expense report as generated over here now you will also uh, see that once this expense report is generated the employee would be receiving an email so let's see that and when you go to the employee's email you would be able to see that the employee has received a mail that like dear abigail peters and your expense has been successfully registered with the category as hotel accommodation and you can see the price of the expense now let's back to the odo platform in order to proceed with the further steps here you can choose the expense that has generated which will be in its uh, to submit state and if you want to add any other expense uh, files you can attach that and you can also create report for this so here you would be able to see uh, the name of the expense uh, as well as the expense that is attached let me click on create report so that we can create a new report for this and the expense report name is shown here and if you want to edit this uh, report summary you can edit that and let's submit this to the manager so here i'm the manager and i might be yeah going through the abigail peters and expenses and i'm going to approve this so currently we have approved the expenses now i need to uh pause this into the journal entries so here you can see the uh, journal entries that has created and other journal items you would be able to see the expenses and accounts payable and yeah now we need to do the payment like we need to give the expense to the employee so let me click on register payment and proceed with the payment and this is in in payment state and after reconciliation the payment would be moving to the bank so that's how we manage with the expense creation from email areas hope this concept is super easy and simple to understand and thank you for watching the video